<laughs> All right. I heard it say nice. I heard it say nice. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're here in my buddy Preston's plane because, well, my plane still doesn't have an engine on it right now. And we're testing out the G-Meter app. So, as we get closer to zero G, it's going to get closer and closer to green for us. And then once it gets below 0.1 G, then it's going to start yelling at us, nice. So we're going to see if we can't make it nice on us. See what we can get to float around the cockpit. <laughs> Not so fast. First, I'm going to show you guys how I made the app because some of you might actually be interested. Don't worry, it's really quick. I used a tool called MIT App Inventor, which is super simple, free, and almost anybody can learn to make an app. So the way MIT App Inventor works is you use very simple building blocks. They're basically puzzle pieces that snap into each other. And it's super simple in order to create an app to do something that you want. So here you can see basically I started with a phone. I was able to drag in different blocks for uh, labels, an accelerometer, a clock, um, different little audio clips and sounds, and some uh, text-to-speech. So here I'm using some text-to-speech in order to say the word nice. And then the building block side of it, pretty simple. I take the square root of both the accelerometer sensors Z and X and Y sensors squared. So I square them all, sum them together, and then take the square root and I get a average summation of all of the axes. And so I'll know my total G-force that we're feeling at the time. And then basically I, uh, divide that out by 9.8. And then as I get below 9.8, in other words, if I get less than 0.1 G-force here, then it will yell at me, nice. All right, today we're at the airport. My buddy Preston's gonna take us up in his plane and we're gonna see if this app works. Again, airport information, X-ray time 2115 Zulu weather. Altimeter 3019er. Advise on initial contact, you have information, X-ray. X-ray, okay. Ogden Ground, Skywagon, November 9 or 1, 9 or 3, Tango, south ramp with X-ray, ready for taxi, northwest bound departure. Runway 35, clear for takeoff, 9 Tango, out of level 55 and Delta. Nine. Preston, what was that term that you mentioned? FOD. FOD? Foreign Object Debris. Right. So it's important that when you do something like this, that you A, have enough altitude, you've cleared your turns, make sure there's nothing around you, and you no one around you also, and then basically uh, make sure you don't have anything in the cockpit that you don't want to float is strapped down or in pockets or whatnot, because otherwise it's going to go flying around in the cockpit. You don't want that. Don't want stuff sticking where it's not supposed to be. Oh, so this is all just acceleration, right? So just you, acceleration. Are you going to do an iteration where you change it to uh, like a G, a like one G, two Gs? Mm, probably zero. not. So I found that you get less precision points. Like, so I tried it with like a one G, zero G. Yeah. And it was harder for my brain to mentally see where zero out, to out one as you're incrementing. Yeah. Into that. Versus like one to a hundred. Yeah. Right. So 9.8, you get almost 100 points with 9.8, 9.7, 9.6. And I could have done like 1.00, 0 .99. 0 but for whatever reason, your brain is just like, it's harder for you to grasp 0 to 1 increments uh -huh. versus 0 to 10. Right. I just, like, I tried it a bunch, and it was just weird. Like, I could not. <laughs> I was like, why is this so hard for me to know if I'm getting close to zero? And I'm like, okay, zero to ten, sure, all right. That'll work. Yeah. That's fine. Like, if I made it, if I made it, like, zero to a hundred instead, it would probably be even closer to, like, getting a sensitivity. It's just your, your brain doesn't like decimal points. Huh. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we'll just... You to pull up and then uh, pitch you over here. Okay. There you go. I'll add this little bit of fuel and positive G's. And then push over. Oh! <laughs> it definitely gets greener. <laughs> Which is interesting because I, I wanted to push harder, but I'm like, I feel like I'm coming out of my seat. Yeah. So that's, so that's that was reading like what? Just, just under two? Just under two. 
And you can see only at one point did we finally get there. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Go up. I'll be a little more aggressive on the pushover. <laughs> I saw it C.7. <laughs> I mean, it really does. Like, it's, you can see you could only get to about point seven for just the shortest amount of time. Yep. It's really hard to get a parabolic arc. Okay. And pull. Say nice, I heard it say nice. I heard it say nice. It got it. Oh man, it was it was uh, more prolonged for sure. Yeah. How's your? Oh man, feeling good still? I'm fine. Oh, no, I don't get motion sick. All right, let's try that again. See if we can get it just a little more aggressively. A little nicer, more nice. There goes everything. That was interesting because that was almost like, I don't know if it was too much or too aggressive or what, yeah, but. It, it felt like too much, but I never saw it go negative. It doesn't go negative. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, no, okay. It's it does, it, does it? Everything's squared, so all the oh, acceleration's squared. So I could be going past. You could. And it's the, I'm and actually it was, seeing it, those other, other sides. It would start to then get less green. Interesting. It was really hard to try and program this thing yeah. with it not like. I don't know. This was a barely minimal functional version. <laughs> like, I got it working within probably 10 minutes of programming it, and then me trying to get it to, like, fine tune, change colors and or do negatives, I spent an hour and a half and couldn't do it, and I was like, screw it. We'll just uh, go test awesome. it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Almost nice. <laughs> it just puts a smile on your face. Oh, yeah. Keep the ball centered. Push. There's weightless. <laughs> that was it. Go until, until one of us throws up. I was like, that, last one, that last one, I was like looking down here more. Oh, uh, you're like, getting the object fixated. I just, I just moved up, and that move up was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I watched everything out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> that, your coat in the back seat went, whoop. <laughs> Do you mind if I take controls for like a yeah. minute? No, I won't good. necessarily do any zero G. All right, you're my fine. control. Your controls. All right, go up again. Okay, I'm watching airspeed. I don't want to stall. Wow, you really got to push that. <laughs> All right, your controls. All right, my controls. Your controls. All right, so it does give you some feedback. Yeah. It definitely would be nice, like, it could be built better. You know, whether or not it's with, uh, it'd be good if, like, I got rid of all the apps and just did it, like, with an Arduino and a and screen. Just that. And, but the thing is, an app's free. Yeah. It just needs to be better controlled. So, here's, here's something I want to try. I have a, a data logging app. Um, for the stuff on the phone? Yeah. Like Android sensor? Uh-huh. Yeah, you can even see right now it's shifting on axes. You confirm a 60 degree bank is two Gs. Yeah, right. All right, ready? Yep. It's interesting. It brought it close, but you could tell it wasn't quite there. It wasn't there. It, they, they, they never, they never hit. So blue is G's and no is red. Else? They're all three oh, axes. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. So you got three axes. X, here. Y, and 
Z. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's try that again then. It's definitely zero. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know about yeah. that meter. <laughs> there, we got stuff floating out of pocket. <laughs> so I went and grabbed that. <laughs> All right, let's try this other one then, the accelerometer one. Oh yeah, that went to zero. <laughs> you can see that. Huh. That's even more responsive too. Yeah. All right, so it seems as though this might actually be as good an indicator as the app itself. You could just use this guy. Would this one go negative? It looks like it just still yeah, go down to, I think still it goes would. down to zero. I mean, there's a zero mark. I bet you it would go negative. So see if we can push something up in the air? Yeah, let me. When this thing goes up in the air, I know we're negative. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just make okay. sure you clear your airspace. Yep, still good. I guess your Garmin tells you. Yeah, I got traffic, and all the traffic's clear up and over this way. Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay, here we go. Hold oh. All right, we're getting more. That's definitely oh, negative. Oh, it's definitely negative. <laughs> oh, cool. Neat. <laughs> that shows it. And my butt left the, got, left the seat and was held by the... Oh, it's being recorded, too, so we have that data. Nice. Hey everybody, I hope you had fun. I want to thank Preston here for taking us out in his plane. And I hope you guys will like and subscribe and we're going to do a lot more fun videos like this. Thanks. Hey, I mean it. Did you guys like and subscribe? I need more people to like and subscribe so I can keep doing awesome stuff. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks.